and especially the folks down in Florida, so we're going to get rolling. Uh, Florida Southern, number one team, uh, they improve 35 and one. to 35-1 on the year. And Coach, we'll let you uh, make opening comments, and then we'll uh, open it up for our student-athletes. Well, I, I thought it was an unbelievable game, again, you know, once again with Bellarmine. Second time we played them, second time it's come down to the, to the end of the game. Um, I thought the beginning of the game we played unbelievable, probably the best 10 minutes we've played all year. Uh, got up by 18. We knew they were going to make a run, you know, and it's trying to withstand the runs that they made. And they did a great job coming back. And I think actually they got up about five in the second half. And I thought we did a great job. With four minutes left, I said to Coach Swank, my assistant, I said, I'm going to put the four seniors, in, five seniors in on the last time out. We're either going to win it with them or we're going to lose it with them. And, you know, we're going, we're going to ride them out and see what they can do. And I thought they came in and did a great job. And, you know, the last shot, you know, I was hoping Kevin would drive. They did a great job helping. He hit a huge three. And, you know, and, and, and we get to go play another day now. We're going to go ahead and open it up for questions. Once again, name, affiliation, and question for Coach and our student athletes. Dan, we'll start with you. Uh, Dan Corbin was very impressed. Coach, I assume the play was set up for Kevin, either to drive or shoot. It was, it was up to him, I assume. Yeah, it was up to him. Um, you know, and it, it's the same play we ran to start the second half, and we went with it again. And I asked the guys on the timeout, do we want to run the shot clock down? Because I knew they were going to get the ball back. Do we want to run the shot clock down, or do we want to do we want to try to score right away? And they said, right, all of them said, let's run it down, and we'll take the lap, take the shot, and we hit it with eight seconds left. Um, and it's a big, you know, huge shot. And you know, I thought we did a good job there at the end contesting their, their three. Go ahead, uh, coach. When you had that long delay and you knew what was right and what wasn't, what was the what was the mood in the in that huddle and and, and during that delay and. And how did you uh, manage your team during that time? Well, I mean, they, I didn't say a whole lot to them. You know, we got good leadership, and and, and we got we got guys that got a will to win. And uh, you know, throughout the air, down the stretch, they kept saying we, we're not going to lose this game. We got to get a stop. We're going to win this game. We're going to get it done. Um, and I thought they did a great job with that. Could I follow them and ask any of the guys, Kevin, Stephen, Tony, what was going on with the three of you, and and how you guys handled this? as leaders on the team? I mean, me personally, I'm a captain, so the biggest thing for me was to call Bubby Johnson down. Because, I mean, <laughs> Bubby, knew, Bubby knew he had four fouls, man. I mean, four fouls. And we all knew that Nick had the charge call. So we was just calming him down. We was like, man, you good? You're going to come back. And once he was calm, we were good and ready to play. Go ahead, man. Um, yeah, Kevin, just you take us through that, that last shot, that last play there, what you saw there, and why you decided to shoot instead of drive. Well, I'm going to take y'all back to the first Bellarmine game. <laughs> and I missed the buzzer beater. And my team got on me a lot. In regulation. In regulation. Right? Yeah. regulation. Yeah. So they've been picking on me about that the whole year since that. And then we drove the play. I was going to drive, but number 12, Jake Thielen, I think his name is, was sitting in the paint. So I backed it up. Uh, and it was a little – I had an open shot, so I took it and went with it. And it felt good. So, I mean, because I was open too before that. So that was my first three of the game. So. You talk about your hot start tonight. Obviously, that kept this guy, this thing guys going. Uh, it's, been, it's been sort of a tradition. Uh, I've started out my last two tournaments, and I haven't played well the first game. So this game, I just tried to come out aggressive, try not to think about it, and they put me on the team to shoot. So that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, second row. Uh, any of the players, two games, one goes to overtime, one on one ninety six. This one's a three-point buzzer. I, I mean, just talk about the intensity and the level of excellence that it takes. Uh, Stephen, could you start, please, with that in, in, in a game like this against a team like that? It was very intense. We knew it was going to be a, a great game, which it was. Both games were great. Um, we just stayed positive, kept talking positive, no negativity in the huddle, and we just fought through adversity. Go ahead, Kevin. I'm just going to say what he said. <laughs> I have to say, playing in front of their crowd is very difficult. I mean, like, we have a big support group, but their their fan club is by far one of the best. And, and you did that at, 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 at Knights Hall, too, in front of a yeah, – which They didn't have their students there. Right. But, but this <laughs> two games you played, guys, I mean, these are – you know, that game in December, this one now – Two of the classic games. Are you probably the two coach. I'll ask you first. The two toughest of the year for you, team. Oh, I mean, I think so. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, 
you know, I, they're, they're good enough to win the whole thing. And we thought that back in December when we beat them. We told our guys that we said we might end up playing them again. And, I mean, they got an unbelievable team. And, and Coach Davenport has done an unbelievable job in his years there. You know, I was in the league uh, before he took over. And I know where Bellarmine was and I know where they're at now. And the job he's done has been, been unbelievable. And he's kept them at that, at that level every year where they're competing to, to, to play for the national championship. And, you know, both games, I mean, if you're a fan of college basketball, you know, if you take yourself away from what, what team you're cheering for and you just go and watch college basketball, you know, I think those are probably two of the better games of the year that any team has to play. And we've been part of both of them with them. And we've been very fortunate to win both. They could have gone either way tonight. They could have gone either way back in December. And we've been fortunate to, to win both games. Coach, somebody TK steal there at the end, kind of give us the ball. That uh, was a big, big steal, you know, because I was, you know, thinking if they scored, you know, how much time would be left in the game and things like that. And then we got the steal and, and used use the timeout. But the steal was huge. You know, once again, the turnovers. We, we forced 20 turnovers. I know they killed us on the glass tonight. And, you know, they had 15 offense rebounds, vice versa, the first time. We had 19 the first time against them and held them, I think, to seven or eight. Tonight they just killed us on the glass. But – we got 20 turnovers, and we only had seven. And, you know, that's the big, big key for us, for us to win. Third row. Uh, Creighton Rap, SpinnerRank.com. Uh, question for Steve. Um, you played up, before you came down to Florida Southern, you played up at Gannon, which is a big rival of uh, IUP, your opponent on Saturday. Do you think you're gonna, your teammates are going to be picking your brain a little bit about how IUP works in that? Um, no, not really. Um, <laughs> Uh, coaches yeah. will. <laughs> coaches will. Um, me and the uh, IUP coach, like, we got conversated. Conversated. Conversated <laughs> right before the like, um, ceremony, which is, um, he was asking how my family was, but I'm pretty sure he's ready, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'd be ready too. I'm going to ask one last question, and Coach, I think you heard me when I mentioned this as you guys were walking in. You guys in um, IUP combined 66 wins this year, most ever for two teams playing the national championship. What are your thoughts about the, the level of play that we're going to see on Saturday? Well, I mean, I thought, you know, the first game was an outstanding game, kind of kind of like our game. Tarleton got up and IUP came back and, and got the lead. And, you know, I, I, we know how good they are. They're very good defensively. The, the, the funny thing is, really, kind of, is we were supposed to scrimmage them they came down and playing South Florida in an exhibition game. They were looking for a scrimmage, and we were talking about scrimmaging, and then they ended up going down and scrimmaging Florida Gulf Coast. So it's kind of ironic that we're going to end the year. We're supposed to start the year playing in a, in a scrimmage that we're going to end the year for the national championship. But we know how good they are and how good defensively they are. And, you know, it should be an unbelievable game. And it'll be, can we get them to play the, the speed that we want to play? And can we get them to turn over? They've got very, very good guards. And it's hard to turn over good guards, so hopefully we can we can force some turnovers against them.